Tactile feedback on shifter coaster feels great and today we are taking a deep dive just into that. Hi, I'm Stuyo and this is my garage. In this video we will be testing several exciters manufactured by Dayton Audio. First off is the infamous Dayton Puck, which is the only one labeled here as an actual bus shaker. Next we have a small 25 watt exciter with a flat mounting base. This one is favored tactile solution based on an LD magnets and a voice coil. It's rated at 40 watts. Both of these are based on a spring spider and a voice coil. The left one is plastic and the right one is made of steel. Both of them are with the new Dayton design and feature the interchangeable mounting option. This is quite comfortable for exchanging or replacing exciters. Plastic exciter is rated at 20 watts and the metal one is doubled at 40. For a good measure we will be comparing here with two very popular full-size bus shaker solutions. This will be the cheaper Dayton Audio BST1 and the Aura bus shaker. The weight of the exciters is not that important by itself, but it is a good measure to show their moving mass. This has a meaning because one side of the coil is mounted to the surface and the other to the moving body of the exciter. The only exception here is the Dayton puck which doesn't have any outside moving parts and everything is closed into its body. The test setup is a phone loaded vibration measurement software strategically placed on the mouse mat next to the shifters. These are localized vibrations, this is not the most exact measurement, but still it gives good base for comparison. The phone itself was mounted with double-sided tapes to the mouse mat so it doesn't slide around when testing. Every test sequence will consist of several consecutive gear shift effects followed by the standard SimHub test sequence. Testing the overall feel of vibrations from every transducer of course is very subjective. We will be taking into account how vibrations feel in both shifter as well as in the handbrake. Now let's review in details how every of these transducers was mounted. The Dayton Pucks utilized a custom 3D printed mount. The first mounting point is right below the sequential shifter and handbrake assembly. The second mounting point was on the side of the edge pattern shifter, there we utilized double sided tape. <music> 25 watts exciters come with pre applied double sided sticky tape on their mounting plate. The new threaded interchangeable mounting system can be assembled either by using two screws or the provided double-sided sticky tape. It's a very clever solution allowing you to quickly interchange between different exciters. Even the 40 watts non-coil exciter has an updated variant which utilizes it. Regrettably, we didn't have one to test ourselves. Here you can see how the full size bar shakers were mounted right next to the shifter assembly. This is a very comfortable place to mount a mouse pad. Of course this cannot be used when you play because all the vibrations will move around your mouse. In this section you can hear how every transducer sounds like.
The new interchangeable mounting system is very good addition to these exciters. It is featured on both 32 exciters which we tested here and also you can find it on the 30mm one. Regrettably we couldn't sample one to test ourselves so we couldn't compare with the old design. As you can see here the interchangeable mounting options adds to the total height of the exciter. This effectively places the moving body of the shaker farther away from the mounting surface. We had a lot of issues before with this particular exciter entering resonance frequencies and starting hitting the mounting base. The added extra height it seems much better now. During our very long term testing we had multiple failures in these particular exciters. In low frequencies they are prone to reaching resonance levels and ultimately breaking the elastic springs. These exciters are better used with higher frequency effects. Also you have to be careful with the connectors because they are easy to break off from the body. The not so powerful 20 watt variant is even more prone to failure. After only two weeks of use, the spring on both of our test units broke. Furthermore, on one of them, the coil totally died. From the non-sprung exciter, for the course of over 8 months, out of 6 units we had only one failure. The coil of this unit died for no apparent reason. End of this presentation, let's go over each product's strengths and weaknesses. The commonly used Dighton Puck has reasonable application for shifter effects. It is very cheap and robust. Coming here it will be underpowered if you have motion or an extensive pass shaker setup. This particular model despite its high power rating could not deliver, better stay away from it. The 40 watt non-sprung model despite its not so good low frequency performance is still highly recommended. It has strong overall response and it's reliable enough. And finally let's look over our two favorite contenders. The 20 watt plastic one is very strong but unfortunately it breaks very easy. After only two weeks of use both units died so it doesn't deem suitable for use for tactile feedback. The steel sprung 40 watt model is very cool looking unit. It has very good performance and because of the heavy body you can definitely feel the vibrations. The downside of it is that at lower frequency it easily enters resonance and ultimately it breaks the metal spring. With consideration you can safely use it for high frequency effects but for low frequency like engine sound or gear shift it's not advisable. The addition of the new mounting interface is a great upgrade and we cannot wait to see in the long run if this manages to fix some of its downsides. Finally, let's take a look at the big boys. Titan BST-1 brings the expected performance at a lower price. And the Aura Shaker is as expected, the best one of them all. To check all the results and full detailed overview, follow the link below in the description. Hope you enjoyed this video and now you are one step closer to choosing what tactile setup to add to your rig.